Hello and welcome to this session on Catalon Studio and today we are going to see some important settings or preferences that you can do on your Catalon Studio. So if you go to your Catalon Studio, if you go to the Windows menu, you will find settings or preferences here. If you are on Windows operating system, you will find under Windows and if you are on Mac, you will go to Catalon Studio and go to preferences here. So at a global level you can do some preferences or settings from here and then at a project level you can go to your project menu and go to settings here you can do the settings at the project level so we will look at some very important settings the first one is web locator so go to your project settings and go to test design and if you expand this you will find web locators and you can see these are all the locators which are used to identify objects and here we have detect object by column where you can check and uncheck so if you do not want to use some locator you can check or uncheck that and the good thing is you can always add new locators here so that was about web locators and then we have uh, failure handling so again if you go to your test design and go to test case here you will find default failure handling for test step so this is something what will happen when a step fails whether it should stop on failure, continue on failure or make it optional. So what this means is and you can also do this at a step level. So let me just show you a sample test. So here are your steps. Now you can right click on any of the step and go to change failure handling and make it continue on failure or optional. So if I select continue on failure, you can see the icon changes here. Okay and also if you go to the script mode you can see the changes here so it has made it as continue on failure now what is the difference between continue on failure and optional so if you make a step continue on failure then if the if the step fails the test will not stop it will continue but in the report it will be shown as failed but in case you make it as optional then the a test will continue even if the step fails but in the report it will not be shown as failure for this particular step and for also if this is the only step or the optional steps are the only step which have failed in the test case it will not be shown as fail it will be shown as pass okay so that is the difference and let me again go to my project settings and now we have the set default browser so you can go to your execution here okay and under execution if you go to default you can set your default browser what browser you want to select as default and then we have some wait times here that you can set we also have post execution options so what do you want after a test case completed or after an execution completes do you want to open a report terminate drivers this you can set from here and again if you go to web ui under execution default you can again set some delay and wait times like page load wait timeout etc and if you expand this further for every browser you can do some settings here you can add your settings here and similarly you can do for mobile for android you can add your settings here for ios you can set your add your settings here so we have seen this we have seen mobile settings and then database settings so database settings are here so it is in the main project settings you have database settings so here you can set the connection for your database and you can use your username password and we have these url samples so for some common databases catalon studio has given these url samples which you can use and you can create your connection url here and then test your connection so this will be like at the project level and of course if you want to have some other database uh, within your steps you can do that as well so when, whenever you want to fetch some values from database or want to have database as checkpoints you can use this and then we have network so here you can set some uh, certification settings whether you want none or bypass certification validation all this you can set here and you can also add external libraries here so if you go to here external libraries you can directly add your external libraries and you can just browse from your system and add it here 
okay and then we have email settings so emails we have already seen in a separate session and these are the settings you can do if you want to send your report as an email so you can give your host username password and test your connection and the good thing now is you also get the template here so you can modify this template suppose you want your company's logo or your logo here you can always go to uh, your uh, you can upload your own image here you can modify all this you can modify the tables look and feel everything you can do as per your wish okay so you can do this template modifications also from here so this was at the project level and then at a global level also we have some settings now the, all these notes I will provide in the description of this video but let us just very quickly see some uh, very useful settings at global level so if you are on windows you will go to windows and select the preferences if you are on mac you will go to catalon studio and go to preferences and here you can see some important settings uh, here you can select the workbench save interval time so for example if I say 5 then every 5 minutes my workbench will be automatically saved uh, here are the some settings for groovy then we have for java and uh, if you are doing some coding you if you are facing some issues you can always go here for example the compiler level you can set here compilers and debuggers and editors look and feel everything and here in the team you can go to git and do some git settings and some important settings are here inside catalon so if you go to git you can enable and then set the timeout for git for cobiton if you are using cobiton is a cloud service provider for mobile devices you can enter your cobiton account details here and connect in case of mobile you can select your apm directory and this is for object spy then in case you are using any proxies you can give your proxy details and settings here then we have for recorder so default browser you can select for recorder what should be the default browser then we have team collaboration so if you are using slack you can collaborate using this directly then if you go to the test case level there are some settings at test case level that you can see manual mode and utility add-on so these are some important settings and then there are these others that i will provide in the notes of this video i hope this was all very useful for you thank you for watching